Our state has a well-earned reputation for being hot, dry, and sunny. But one of the most amazing places in Arizona is always 70 degrees dark with 99% humidity. So bring a flashlight. For more than a decade, this is how most people have been experiencing Karchner Caverns. We are wanting them to not just know more about the cave, but to appreciate this environment and have a greater level of respect for protecting these environments, just like we do here every day at Karchner Caverns. Lights throughout the main chambers of the cave do a great job of letting you see the stunning formations. Because normally when our guests come through, we have a lighting system that's been designed for them and it's gorgeous and it highlights some phenomenal formations we have here. What's been missing perhaps is a little more darkness, daring, and discovery. Now once you've made your way in here, you want to go ahead and reach up and turn on those lights. Remember, try to be considerate, to not look directly in your friends' faces. Okay, and otherwise now, welcome to the rotunda. Arizona State Parks has added a dose of all three with the new helmet and headlamp tours. I was just going to say, it looks like ice There's cream to me. Yeah. <laughs> with the helmet and headlamp tour, you can see whatever it is that interests you while you're in the cave. And kind of unique in that sense that we aren't telling you what to look at. You get to decide for yourself. Well, you're allowed to call the formations whatever you like. I'm going to tell you that is a halectite with a soda straw coming off the end of it now. Okay. But imaginations are allowed on tour. You're still in a group with a ranger to guide you, but now you're seeing the cave features much the way the original discoverers did. One surprising spectacle at a time. It's a whole different feeling. They become very peaceful. They have this calm, serene sense about them by the end of the tour because they've just been in here taking it all in little bit by little bit with that small amount of light that they're provided with. Those really are footprints. That's another one of the discoverer's trails. And if you look really closely, you can see some boot outlines. Everywhere that you see that little glisten or sparkle, that's water coming through. And that's just everything that we're working here to protect and preserve. Just how different is this from the standard tour? It's more exciting for a lot of people. It's more of an adventure when you're going in in the dark because um, you can't really experience darkness the way that you experience it in a cave with no lighting. 